What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi and in today's video I will be doing the review on the Acolyte Episode 8. So if you like these videos then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for future Star Wars videos. Uh, although this will be the last of the Acolyte coverage. So, so there will be spoilers for this episode so consider that your warning. And let's just get right to summarizing the episode. So this episode, basically, it uh, starts with Osha still wearing Smiler Ren's helmet, and she sees a vision. And the vision is that May kills Sol without a lightsaber. And so her and Smiler Ren go to find May. Meanwhile... On the on Soul's ship, Soul is you know telling May about that, and and he's trying to tell her that Osha and May they're not twins, they're not sisters, they're the same person somehow split or whatever. I don't know. We never get an answer of how this happens, but and May escapes in a shuttle, and Soul follows. And it crashes on Brandok. On Coruscant, Vernestra Rowe basically hears tell that Sol is on Brendok, so she summons a posse of Jedi and heads there to... I don't know exactly what she's going to do, but I guess figure it out. So, on Brendok, they're basically touring the witch compound... And that, oh, I guess I should mention this, but on the, uh, where Smiloren's base is, his cave, after Smiloren and Osha leave, we see in, in the cave, we see a little hand creep around. And then the camera switches to the other side and, and we see a hooded face that looks vaguely like a mune. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be uh, Darth Plagueis. I think this is our, like, Oh, Darth Plagueis. Ooh. Any uh, person that knows the lore and and that knows that at this time... Now, if you don't know, it is 132 BBY, or 132 years before the Battle of Yavin, or it's 100 years before the Phantom Menace. And Plagueis, at this time, should still be a, an apprentice to Tenebris. Not very good stuff, but anyways, we'll get to Plagueis after the recap. So, on the witch compound, Smiloran finds Soul. They fight. May and Osha, they find each other. They talk a little bit in their old room, and they fight. And eventually, both parties end up in the courtyard where Soul killed uh, the the witch leader, whatever her name was, Anasea or something like that. And basically, Osha finds out, oh, Sol killed my mom. Hmm. So she slowly walks out of the doorway where she was hiding, and she asks Sol if that was true, and Sol's like, I did it to protect you. I'm sorry. I thought it was right, blah, blah. I wanted you to have a good life. You wanted to be a Jedi, live your dream, blah, blah, all that. And she's like, stop talking, keeps talking. So eventually he uh, starts getting choked via the force. And everyone's looking around like, oh, who is it? Is it, is it Smilo Ren? No. Is it May? No. It's Osha. And Osha's anger in all that causes the crystal in Soul's lightsaber, which Osha has, to turn red. She bleeds it. And, yeah, she uh, kills Soul. She chokes him to death. Kills him. And then, basically, the two sisters, or twins, whatever, Osha and May, they, they, run, all, they run away, go to their special tree when they were kids, and yeah, Smiloren finds them, and basically, 
OSHA's like, okay, it's Milo Ren. I'll go with you, but, and train with you, but, you know, May gets to, she's free of you. And then he's like, okay. So the, so he races May's memory of OSHA and Smilo Ren, since the Jedi are there on the planet and, you know, doesn't want to, to lead to anyone. So, yeah, so the, the two Siths or whatever they are leave and the Jedi arrive. They go to the compound. They find um, Sol dead there. Vernestra Rowe tells people to set up a perimeter and go search the place and all that. And she, all by herself, kneels and, you know, checks Sol's body. And apparently she knows Smilo Ren and he was a formal former pupil of hers. So, interesting, I guess. Back on Coruscant, the Jedi have May in custody. She doesn't remember. She doesn't even know what's going on because she doesn't remember. Her last memory is of the fire and when her family died. Vernestra Rowe is basically throwing Soul under the bus because basically the official statement is is that Soul went rogue and started killing people and all that. And he's the one doing that. So basically, they're lying again and creating this. It's a cover-up for the Sith. So, I don't know. Bernice Rowe is a scumbag. So, I guess don't trust bald green alien women. They, they're they kind of scummy and not very... Uh, apparently, Soul and her were friends. And it's like, that's, that's how you treat your friend? You basically sit, throw him under the bus and make him an enemy? Okay, whatever. Uh, the show ends. Oh, I guess I should mention that Vernestra Rowe does go into a room where Yoda is. Oh, we got to meet Master. And that's it. Yoda doesn't talk. We just see the back of his head and the little puppet moves or whatever. So, yay! You get your Master Yoda. Oh, how exciting. Oh, and Darth Plagueis. Oh, boy. This is just chuck full of garbage. So, yeah, what I liked, uh, n- let's be honest, there really isn't anything. Let's just skip that. Let's move straight on to what I didn't like. Well, to be honest with you, after seeing this episode, this this whole show is a waste of time. There, it, It's pointless. What was the point of this show? Wasted your time. The Sith are still out there. There's still these unaccounted for Sith that don't make any sense. And the Jedi are scumbags. Oh, I'm so glad I'm I'm not a fan of this stuff. Because what is there to be a fan of? This is stupid. So if you can't tell, this this the finale was garbage, was awful. And it now that you now you can't say, oh well, there's you know we haven't seen the whole season. It's like no, you've seen the whole season now, and it's a complete and utter waste of time. Don't watch it. It's a waste of your time. Oh, well, it's going to get a season two. It's No, it's not. Are you seriously going to say it's going to get a season two when it's like the lowest rated show? No one. You want a repeat of that? Okay, well, they are kind of dumb at Lucasfilm, so you never know. They are making a Ray movie, apparently. So, well, I think I've rambled about this enough. Uh, not, well, I guess there's one thing. Uh, the Darth Plagueis stuff. Obviously, don't bring Darth Plagueis. Don't bring Darth... Or, yeah, don't bring Plagueis. Don't bring Yoda in here and ruin those characters. It's, let's leave some characters untarnished. But, well, I guess they didn't do anything. So I guess they're, they're not tarnished yet. So I guess crisis averted in terms of Plagueis and Yoda for now. So there's that. So, yeah. Well, let me know what you thought of this uh, piece of crap called The Acolyte in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, do you think this show's getting a season two? Do you want it to get a season two? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thank you very much for watching this video of The Acolyte.